Hi. In the first video, I showed how NOAA can be uh, used as the weather provider to provide real-time uh, weather information. But if you fly with Active Sky and you use historical weather or you use custom weather, it uh, would be a good idea to set up Flight Plan Visualizer to uh, use uh, Active Sky as your weather provider instead. In order to do this, we need to uh, do some changes to the settings file. And you should never do any changes to the settings file while the program is running. So we stop the program. And then you need to navigate to the folder um, where uh, Flight Plan Visualizer is keeping its file. Naturally, you, uh, your path will not have my name in it. But once you navigate to this path, you go to the user data folder. And here we open the settings file. I choose to use uh, Notepad++ and it opens the file. And in this file, we need to set up the Active Sky Current Weather path. Um, this is the default path uh, and it should work for most of you, uh, if not all of you. Once this uh, path is set up, you save the settings file and you can close it down again. And we don't need uh, to do any more changes. So we just need to start the uh, flight plan visualizer once again. It displays the splash screen while it's loaded its data. And once it's ready, we can change the weather provider and choose Active Sky File instead. Now, when I double click Copenhagen, you can see the uh, meter and the TAF. Are obtained from Active Sky. I have Active Sky running and currently it's set to use uh, live weather and that's why you see the uh, 31st that's the date of today. If I change to historical weather for example I can choose the 12th of May I go here and I wait for Active Sky to get the weather. It have done so. And now when I return to uh, Flight Plan Visualizer and I hit Update, you see the date will change from the uh, 31st to the 12th. And the same with the meter. So that's how to set up Flight Plan Visualizer to use uh, weather from uh, Active Sky.